turn into a samurai. Do it. What happened? What's going on? It's not. It's an issue. I I installed perspective mode, completely sideways, and now like. You don't I, need that. Cut I don't need enough room. Just cut it off. We don't no, need no, it. Like, this is not the time to be doing modifications. Are we taking my truck? You should uh, back up and then back right up here. Yeah, that is my alarm. Should I turn it off? Should I turn my alarm on or off? On. Am I asleep or am I awake? Three a.m. and buddy is still installing <laughs> hardware on his boat. I feel like that'll just interfere with what's going on here. What are we doing today? What's today? Today is a tournament. We haven't fished a tournament in like eight years. I went last night and watched our uh, our derby where you mm -hmm. you let out the famous squeal. You went. Oh my god! <laughs> God, dude. 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 That was not the last tournament. It had though. to have been. Yeah, it was. No. Lake Clinton, I'm pretty sure, was the last derby we fished. Name name another tournament we actually fished. Like, not like some Guggen BS, like where we actually fished for money. You can't. That no, was it. That, wow. That was a long time ago. What yeah. was the date on that? Like, I believe the last time Eric and I fished a derby together was uh, eight years ago. This is a video that is long overdue and a video that probably a lot of you guys have been uh, requesting. Eric and I used to fish tournaments all the time when we were in high school. That was kind of our thing. But, uh, you know, we've grown old, we've grown crusty, and we've kind of distanced ourselves from each other. Eric decided that he uh, wanted to crawl out of his cave and I decided I wanted to stop fishing for striped bass and we're teaming up the duo, and we're fishing a little local derby. Nothing huge, but it is a team derby. It's an open, and we're going into this with one intent and one goal in mind, and that is to absolutely smash them. So stick with us, stay tuned, and let's go prank. check for you guys 547 we've been in the water for about 20 minutes now rods are for the most part all rigged i gotta throw a few plastics on but we're there we're pretty much there quite a lot of boats more than i thought there's actually two derbies going on today two separate derbies going on there's a couples tournament which um uh, Perry County aren't fishing <laughs> and then there's uh just this little tarrant county open so i'm pumped for this the water's really high right now this lake is either super generous or brutal beyond belief but i'm hoping it's um it's the first one. It's a good lake. It's a good lake, but it can kick your ass, and hopefully it doesn't do that to us today. We just need five bites. Alex, how many bites do we need today? How many? Five. five. Starting, where are you starting? Uh, you're, you're real about this. So I think we're gonna start on the point. Oh, nice. Which one? Like the point. Like just the one point. of the points. A point. Th thy point. Like a point where there's bass. Nice. God, this is too much. What are you starting off with? Jig? Wow, water's not that warm. God, the water's clean. Yeah, this water's really good. I did not expect it to look like this. Don't retie, whatever you do. I love it. If I got a bite on a spook, I'd throw a frog, but look at that. Oh, come on. Carp going ballistic. Going? On? Take it. There we go. Nice job. I mean, they get her for you. Get the net. Oh, don't have one. Oh, careful now. Good fish. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. There we go. We'll take it. <laughs> yes. Nice first fish. Put it there. On the on the on the uh, zinger. First one on the zinger. Very decent. Release it. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Not for you. No soup for you. Stinky. Stinky. There's one. Dropped it. 
set the hook on nothing, literally. Come on. Good one? Oh, yeah. Nice one. Is that a white bass? It's a white bass. It's a white bass? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Nice. Oh, I've never seen one like that. That's weird. Wait, you think you can weigh white bassing? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. All right. My bite fell. That's a bass. Nice. You got him? Just crushing out here, my guy. Uh, is it 14? I think it's 14. What do we got? Third fish of the day? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Yeah, 14 inches. That's Nicely a, done. Hey, let's put a cold tag on Another zinger fish. Yeah, we want, we want to get rid of it. But it's nice. Yeah, but I mean, if we We've got six and eight. Yeah, true. It's good to have this guy. We've got uh, three fish out of the box, all courtesy of Alex Perk. I've gotten one bite today. Yellow. And that is that is all that I'm working with. I need to catch up my pace. I need to contribute here. I'm not doing a good job of contributing. There's my first fish of the day. Nothing huge, I'm just trying to get a few bites throwing around the bandito bug. Sprayed grass, little wobble head. Kind of ass backwards for what we're fishing. Should be, wait, wait. that wasn't 14, there's no is way. Is it 14 or is it 12? Well, it might be 12. Really? I might have just put a keeper back. We don't We don't need him, Alex. If we lose by uh, 14 ounces, you can slap me. <laughs> He's going back in the water. Just trying to get some numbers while Alex is focusing on what we think is kind of the pattern. There's so much shad up shallow right now. I think they might be spawning. They also could just be taking advantage of the fact that this water is super flooded right now. This lake is up by, I don't know, four or five feet. And Peric's just throwing around a zinger with a topwater spook right around those those bushes. And that's how we've gotten three of our big bites today. That was fish number four. Need some help? Nice. Right, let's see if we can get a few more. That was not the size I want though. I want some big bigs. How you guys doing? Doing good. Did you leave us any back there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Fair trade. Good luck. Take care. What's going on there? Looks like fun. That deserves an epic gamer token for sure. Okay, 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 pull our heads up our ass. Come on, Alex. Come on, Alex. Come on, Alex. Where they at? No black and blue, eh? Damn, a bug. I'll take that all day. There we go, boys, let's go. It's the one we need to look at his tail. Look at his tail. Yep. They're doing it, I think. That was right off of the brush pile. I literally just switched colors of bandito bugs. And that is the one we needed. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Finally. If I'm gonna contribute, that's a good one to contribute with. He was running off the bed with it. That's shit. This is all I'm doing. This is a tactic I, I kind of haven't thrown much in the past, but this year I've really keyed in on it. This is super simple. And I advise any of you guys who are getting into fishing bottom baits, like the bandito bug or the crack and craw to try this out. I get so prone to throwing like a jig and a bandito bug or a jig and a crack and craw or like a Texas rig, crack and or bandito. But one thing I, I've been doing a lot this season is throwing a wobble head. The wobble head's nice. <laughs> Perry's worried that someone's gonna hear me talk about the wobble head. The wobble head's nice because it kind of lets that bait do whatever it needs to do. It can stand up a little bit off the bottom. It swings a little bit more freely. It just looks natural, I think. Yeah, it's just an alternative, something they haven't probably seen a whole lot of this year. Essentially just, yeah, the fish are also spawning too. That fish was, had, that fish had a 
really nasty bloody tail and he was moving the bait off like he would be on a bed. But a little Bama bug bandito on a three eight ounce wobble. One thing about the bandito bug, or uh, the wobble head too, to the viewers, like, I don't know, with a jig sometimes you miss fish. With a wobble yeah. head, like- you, you get them to actually- it's just, it's just a little bit easier for beginners. Right, oh that, bait, that bait just stands up, it's so nice. The whole point, I think the concept of, of a wobble head is it lets the bait do what it needs to do freely in the water opposed to a jig where that, that bait is like fixed to the back of your hook. Wow, that was sweet. That was so sweet. I can't believe that just happened. Yeah, that just happened. Oh. Yeah, Peregrine are doing a little divide and conquer. He's sticking to the top water and moving and I am lazily, slow and steadily throwing the wobble and the jig and all that kind of stuff. I should be way more pumped. We're trying to be quiet because there's some anglers behind us right now. This may be a spot we want to come back to and fish a little bit more diligently. I am pumped though. I am actually very stoked right now. Look at this, Peric, Peric, right there, right there, right there. Giant, 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 giant. Giant, absolute giant, absolute giant. The glide bait. Get mine out. Ah, she just went down. It's a good fish. God, it's a big one. It's like six pounds all day. She's in those trees. I think she's either guarding. I think, dude, look pre-spawn. Either guarding fry or it's doing that roaming thing. I was just thinking that. Just blind casting stick bait. That was crazy. We just saw a absolute giant fish cruising right above the surface, doing some weird stuff. This time last year, Peric and I went to the same lake. They got on a really ridiculous, uh, like late spawn bite. Weirdest thing, you'd think they'd be done spawning this late in the season, but for some reason this lake and a few others, they uh, they, they like to push up on the last May moon. That was crazy, that was a giant fish. If we can get that fish to eat. Well, we can always come back here. That fish is, I think, I've always had best luck on the end of the trees, yeah. honestly. Good one. I thought it was a giant. Dude, he bonked and ran off with it. <laughs> uh, so we've got a white bass, a large Jonathan now. A nice little, oh shoot, sorry. Nice little white crappie. Of course. Of course. It's a big one. You guys love it when I say it's a big one, right? That's like my favorite little go to. Everybody's favorite line when they just have the hook It's a big one. It's a shot. If I had a dollar for every time I asked for the net while reeling in like a one pounder, I'd be like $320 richer probably. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, that could have been really bad. Oh. What did you do? Oh, I'm going to break off now. That always results in a break off. There he is. Got him. Good one. Good one. Okay. Yep. That's number five. I do. I watched him eat on Pan Optics. Nice. That was cool. I think that's, yeah, we'll keep him. Woo! Here we go, boys. That's number 15. Sorry, number five. You need some help, dude? Here, I got it. Just fish. I got it. Seriously, I got it. I got it. I, got it. I, I think it's 12 inches. We should have looked this up earlier. All right, Perry, just. Okay. This is our number five. I'm gonna make sure he's, yeah, he's almost 16 inches. Put a tag on him. Yeah, nice fish. Here we go, that's number five. We have a limit. We actually have a limit. Wow, didn't think that happened. Very nice. Here we go. Looking good, Peric, looking good. We got a limit. Not a very big limit, we have a limit. Let's go. Well, we lost the wobble head, so now we're, we're resorting to a little bit of Texas rig fishing. Same concept. Just not as dialed. That's what that fish just ate. We really struggled there for a bit. We had about a two hour lull where we couldn't get anything going. I think we dedicated too much time to the moving bait, but it's hard not to when this morning we saw the shad spawning and uh, when we see so much shad activity on our graph. Hey, is it raining? It's also raining right now. I'm soaked. Peric and I are both drenched. We wasn't supposed to do this right now. I was supposed to do this in the morning, but we're looking good. We just gotta keep throwing the bandito bug. When in doubt, fish what you love to throw. Fish what you know. Don't throw some stuff that you're uh, unfamiliar with. Which doesn't make sense. Oh, there's another one down there. Golly. All right, let's go. Okay. Do, do we do the bank or do we do that point? I think we go to the spot where you lost your fish. Okay. Ah, or do we save that later? 
No, let's go there. Oh, well, yeah, no. Let's go here and then end there. Actually, we'll end right on this fucking rock that's right here. I've caught like four or five fish there before. Let's do this for a few. Point. Let's go, let's go see what, what it looks like over there. Okay. All right, we need to move. Last spot of the day. Let's make it happen. Come on, Stinky. What are you gonna be throwing? Hey, I'm proud of our I'm I'm proud of our performance today though. Regardless of the outcome, we got five bites on a lake that you just don't get five bites on. And we landed them all without a net. The first thing I said well, before we got to this lake, as I turned to Perry, I was like, oh, I forgot the net. And he's like, alright, it's fine, we'll just boat for them all. <laughs> I, I love the uh I love the uh, we didn't organization. I, love, I don't know how big the first one I caught was, three and a half, but. It's good fish. I think it was about three. No, dude. Same shit. Dude, these are, this is, this is fucking bullshit, man. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Let me get on you real quick. Boom. Big hit. If we have time, we need to run this bank over again one more time. Doesn't make any sense, does it? These are the bunch of yeah, they, I mean, yeah, these are, this is where we call it like, a ton. You're on. No, oh, big one. Wasn't that big. Are you sure? Positive. Caught a whole fish. Maybe. It's a good sign though. We needed. I got, I got one. I got one. Come on, eat it. Dropped it. All right, we got I just got bit. We definitely have to fish here, like for the yeah. rest of the day. Yeah. We don't have much time, but yeah. I don't know. He looked good. That fish? Yeah. No, I wasn't. I saw the whole thing. I think he could have called. I don't even think he would have called. Right. That's why I'm not upset. Like, I truly don't. Think he, like I don't even know if he was 14. Like he might have been. That was a largemouth though, dude. That was my first bite since 9 a.m. this morning for <laughs> sure. <laughs> the heck. Got a few decent bites down that tree. Remember we'd come back and catch them. Yes. Yeah. There's one. Got him. Good one, dude. Good one. I don't know if he's gonna help us, but it's a fish. Ain't gonna help us. Damn. 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 Uh, is he? No, there's no way, man. Okay. Yeah, positive. There we have it. It's hoping that would be our call. But I don't think it is. This guy's no. Well, we caught six fish. It's all good. It's all good. There's there's plenty more. This is our second pass in this bank, and finally got one to eat. Thank you, little guy. Where's your mama, though? The sprayed grass color is pretty sexy. Or sprayed lettuce. We know there's a four pounder on this bank. We know there's a three pounder. We know there's a two a high two pounder on this bank. Oh, dude, that'd be. I would have confidence that we'd be like. Yeah, if we caught like a just a true giant right now. All right, cool. That's the ball game. Let's go in. All right, here we go. Mega bag. Mega bag. Mega bag. Giant. Units. We need to get rid of that guy. Yeah, it's a little too late for that. And this guy. Those are our two. Those are our two dinkers. That's, that's, that's zinger fish. Pull them up. Nice. Put on that more. Bigger. 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 All right, let's go ahead. My guess is 13 and a half. No, I think we're close to 15. 15? I do. I know, your fish is bigger than I think. What are you guessing? 14.5. More than that. More than that. You need to wait oh, oh, we'll take that. 16, 16. Damn. All right. Oh, we just weighed in. Had to film that last little piece on my iPhone because my GoPro died. Classic GoPro anything. But we had, what was it, 1646? And we've got big bass right now. Are we leading with big bass? What we needed one three pounder is yeah, what we needed. Literally. I didn't realize those two little fish we had were really little. Really little. So we're in second with big fish. It's it's great. I didn't realize my fish was six pounds. I thought it was like five, five yeah. and a half. What do we get, third? Third place, baby. Hey, we're doing big things. What's we next, Elite Series? <laughs> MLF Sign, Pro Tour. Sign me up. First tournament in many, many moons. And Perrick and I managed to get third place, not the dub. We had big bass for a second, too. Uh, our grand prize totaling at $220, not bad. And I think we probably spent, uh, what, probably five, six grand on tackle over the, over the past two weeks. So this should cover it. This is probably how much we spent on uh, 
Bucky's burritos and gas this morning. But you know what? That's not what matters. What matters is fun. Got to hang out with my friends. In all what? seriousness, though, like what? the money thing, that'd probably cover us to go fishing for free at least. Today. Oh, 100%. Like, free yeah. Free gas. More free than, everything. probably yeah. with a few extra dollars to spare. I'm pumped. I'm glad we, we cut a check. Um, I don't know what went up winning. It was 18 something, right? Yeah, 18 something. 18 one. something. We had and 16. Anyway, I'm going to close out today's video. If you guys want to see Parrick and I fish more derbies, drop a comment. Parrick, should we fish more derbies? No, I want to fish more derbies. Alex says he wants to fish more derbies. So we're going to fish more derbies. Also, let me know in the comment section below if you guys know of any cool uh, tournament trails or anything like that in Texas or Oklahoma or something like that. We'll, we'll try to team up and, and do, some, do some fishing. But hey, not too shabby. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate the view. We'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.